The first video of the man neighbours say is Salman Abedi, the Manchester killer, filmed recently outside his home. The police manhunt for his accomplices is unrelenting. Another two men arrested today, eight now being questioned. I want to reassure people that the arrests that we have made are significant. And they are scouring Abedi's home. The police say they've found significant items, but what's critical is the trail from here to the rest of the cell and identifying the bomb maker before another attack. Police checking links with the so-called man in the hat, Mohammed Abrini of ISIS, who bombed Brussels and visited Manchester two years ago. And they're examining a claim by his sister to the Wall Street Journal that he wanted revenge for US bombing in Syria. His victims got a visit from Queen Elizabeth today, who told injured teenagers she was shocked. Well, Very scary. Thank you. Very wicked. Mm. Target, that sort of thing. All the girls had toys in their bed, one still wearing her Ariana Grande t-shirt. Compared to the people, I'm like, quite lucky, really. Britain's intelligence service failed to stop the bomber, but claimed today it's running 500 investigations, watching 3,000 suspects, and has foiled five attacks in two months. But not this one. The dead remembered today in a minute of silence across Britain. 22 lives lost. So many, so young. And the tributes to the victims still growing here. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson will make his own tribute tomorrow when he pays his first visit to Britain, a country where the threat level is still critical, an attack still judged imminent. Lester. All right, Bill Neely in Manchester, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.